Cause you could have give to me the gift of walking on water and baby Maybe I will raise the day You could have give to me the gift of walking on Maybe I will raise the day But I have one life to live All I have to give to you is love I have one life to live All I have to give to you is love I have one life Good morning, to live. shout out and share Hello Sabita I love you too my friend Can't wait to meet you one day It's gonna happen to Northern California so in the house. Come on. Gold Coast, Australia. Oh my gosh. I see the one and only Baby Prophet on the mic. I'm just going to turn the whole call over to her. Come on now. Let's roll. Good morning, Ohio, Kentucky. Come on. This is one of my favorite songs. Press in. Shout out, share, press in. smell popcorn and if I never walk on water if I never see the miracles if I never hear your voice so loud just knowing that you love me is enough to keep me here just hearing those words what does it it's mean when you smell popcorn in the spirit? What does that mean? Shout out and share. You do, you do. God bless you. you. Missouri, Philadelphia, PA, in the house, Even South Africa, try, Vermont, come on, Riverview. We're going to start in 30 seconds. Let's get it cranked up. Day nine of the floodgates prophecy. We're praying it out. We're pressing in. Revelation in the house. New Jersey. Tanya Dennis. Is, I, I can start now that you're on, Tanya. I was waiting for you. Come on. 
Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, author of our devotional, Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still, small voice of God. I'm the senior leader of the Awakening House of Prayer in South Florida. Check us out online if you're not in Davy, ahop.online. Come on. Today's devotional titled, I Enjoy Being With You. And here's what I heard the Lord say. Do you know what I really, really enjoy? Just sitting with you. Just engulfing you with my love. Just watching the peace that comes over you when you feel my presence. It's those quiet moments when deep cries out to deep that I relish. During those times, the connection between us is strong. You know that I love you and I know that you love me without either of us speaking a word. I enjoy you, says the Spirit of God. Amen. I like that. Today's scripture references Psalm 42, verse 7, Lamentations 3 and 26, and Psalm 62, verse 5. And the prayer starter for today, I enjoy your presence more than words can express. You delight me. Will you please help me reach that place of being still and knowing that you are God, even when the hustle and bustle of the world around me is demanding my attention. Father, we give you praise. We honor you today as the one true God, the living God, the the just God, the God that sees the end from the beginning, the God that knows how many hairs we have on our head, the God that knows how many grains of sand are on the seashore and who separates our sin as far as the east is from the west, who cast our sin into the sea of forgetfulness and will remember it no more. We give you praise, God. We honor you today for there is no one who compares to you. Your mercy, it endures forever. Your grace, your long suffering. God, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you that you found us. (laughs) You saved us. You picked us up and cleaned us off and sent us forth with power. Come on now. Father, we thank you that you are the all-powerful God. No one's power compares to your power, not the enemy's power, not the government's power, not the world's power, not the power of media or entertainment or medicine. Your power is, is well, you are omnipotent, God. You are all-powerful. And that power that raised Christ from the dead dwells on the inside of us. His name is Holy Spirit. God, we thank you for the Holy Spirit, the spirit of grace, the spirit of truth, leading us and guiding us, making a way for us, God, ordering our steps. Lord, help us to be more sensitive to your heart. God, help us to be more sensitive to who you are, what you're saying, what you're doing at any given moment, not just when we're desperate, God, not just when we need something, God. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, would you give us the revelation that we are needy all the time. We're needy, 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 needy people. We're desperate, God. We can't do a thing without you. Ah, Shabbat Sheketim Brishti. Would you help us stay to God to, 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 to really understand that? The, 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 the contradiction or the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the parallel between the realities that apart from you, we can do nothing. 
Jesus, you told us that. You were very clear, God. Apart from me, you can do nothing. But then you turned it around and you said, in me, in Christ, you can do all things. So, Father, we thank you that we are super conquerors. We can take the mountain. We can take the devil. We can take whatever it is that comes at us, whatever it is that's thrown at us. We can take it. We can endure it. We can overcome it. We can rise above it. We can go forward even in the midst of a drag. I just saw that somebody like dragging, dragging, like just dragging, like there's just a drag. It's like, you know, when you're pulling some, as a matter of fact, uh, uh, yeah, like when you're dragging something behind you, how about the, the wheel on a suitcase when it's broken? Or how about the, the shopping cart that you're trying to push and, and there's like a drag because one of the wheels is pulling in the wrong direction? Or one of the wheels doesn't spin anymore, so the wheel is just dragging. Well, there's two different scenarios there. The wheel on the shop, let's use that. The wheel on the shopping cart is dragging, is dragging because it doesn't roll anymore. And so it's like, it just is hard to push. It's suitcase that you're pulling behind you when the wheel is broken. It's hard to pull. Father, I thank you today, God. I saw somebody just dragging just dragging, just dragging. Father, I thank you, Lord, today that you fix whatever it is in our lives that causes us to feel like we're dragging ourselves along in life. Father, we don't want you to have to drag us along. We want to rise up in the power of God. We want to rise up with the sword of the spirit. We want to plow through enemy opposition. We don't want to drag through life. We don't want to drag. We don't want to like feel like we're just pushing and pulling and pressing so hard and not getting anywhere. We want to feel like no matter what we do, the resistance is too great for us to, to stay on a straight line. There you go. You know, when you're, when your wheel on, on your shopping cart, come on, I know you've had this. It's not just me. You get the bum shopping cart and the wheel wants to drag in the other direction. Or how about when your car is out of alignment and it just wants to pull. And if you don't keep your hands on the steering wheel, you'll go right off into the ditch. If you don't keep it steady, like holding on, it pulls. Ah, what am I saying? What's the Holy Spirit saying here? Some of you are just out of alignment. Some of you just need to get an alignment, a Holy Ghost alignment. Some of you are aligned with the wrong people. And that's why your life is so hard. That's why it's so hard to go to church. That's why when that's why when you step into church, you feel like you're walking into a war zone. Because there's something that's out of alignment. There's something that's causing you to feel like you're just dragging. Something that's resisting you to the point that it takes so much energy to do something. That should be so easy to do. It's not right, beloved. You're either in sin or you're out of alignment. Let me tell you something. Let me just, we're going to go back into prayer, but let me tell you something. You ministers, you uh, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, if you don't have an alignment, you need to get one because your ministry is not going to excel at the rate that it needs to. And you might take a lot more hits spiritually than you need to because you don't have an alignment. You don't have, uh, I, you don't have to use the word covering. I don't particularly like it, but that's what it is. There's a reason for it. And if you're out there like a lone ranger running around wondering why you're not getting anywhere, it's because you're not yoked. It's because you're not submitted. It's because you're not pressing with a group of people that understand what you're going through and are willing to fight for you when you're too weak to fight for yourself. When you're out of alignment, everything is a lot harder. When the wheel stops working, everything is drags. Everything just drags. Everything just drags. Father, help us, Lord. To realign ourselves, to realign our lives to your spirit, to your plumb line. I see God just dropping a plumb line today because we're in day nine of the floodgates. Day nine, day nine. You know what day nine is? It, it represents a, a perfect move of God and it also represents the judgment of God. Nine, the gifts of the spirit, but also judgments. Listen, God is going to judge some things in our lives and he's going to judge some of these distractors and detractors that are standing in the floodgate trying to keep you from receiving your miracle. Ah. Come on now. Jesus. 
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I don't know if y'all can handle this today. I don't know if I should take you where I'm looking to take you by the Spirit of God today. I don't know if I should do it today. I don't know if I should just pull back and pray some nice patty cake prayers today and send you on your way. It's a Friday. Should I just pray some Friday party prayers? I don't know if y'all can handle this today. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Do your thing, God. Some of you need to judge your hearts and you wouldn't be judged. Some of you, it ain't that everybody's gossiping about you. It's that you're giving them something to gossip about, honey. If you'll just live right, some of these people say, oh, there's two times people slander, malign, and gossip about you when you're doing something right and when you're doing something wrong. Look, if you're giving people something to talk about, quit complaining that they're talking. Oh, my God, I don't in the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God, help us to rightly align our hearts with your heart. Lord, send us to the people to whom we can submit. Send us people to whom we can mentor. Send us people that can help us, Lord, to walk along this journey with accountability and with purity. Oh, my God, did I just say a dirty word? Oh, my goodness, I said accountability. I'll probably lose half the broadcast now. What has gotten into you today, Apostle? I think it's the Holy Ghost. Whoa, I just said accountability. Oh, my goodness. All the rebels are going to drop off the call. Well, praise God. We'll have a more pure atmosphere. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, we're going to have fun today. God is moving for whoever can handle it. Move on with me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's dropping a plumb line. If you judge your heart, you wouldn't have to be judged. That's what Paul says. Judge your heart. At least you have to be judged. Get rightly aligned, you guys. Some of you ministers out there running around, ain't got no spiritual mother, ain't got no spiritual father, ain't got no home church, just running from place to place. Get rightly aligned. We're in the floodgates. Day nine of the floodgates. And the Lord told me yesterday, he began to speak to me about this. Now we're going to dive into this floodgates part of the prayer. Listen, I know we're in the floodgates, but I got to pray what I have to pray We'll always get to the floodgate part. Okay, we got 40 days of this. There's more, there's more that God wants to say besides the floodgates, but he's pressing on this and so am I. There's detractors. Distri listen, distractors and detractors in the floodgate. What does that mean? I said a distractor is someone who distracts you. Someone who's trying, listen, I want you to understand what we're praying about because we're about to break some assignments against your miracles, against your blessings, okay? Track with me now. Track with me. A distractor, that's easy. A distractor is somebody that distracts you. Listen, when you're up at the head of the floodgate and you're looking for your miracle, you're looking for the deliverance, you're looking for that healing, you're looking for that rest, you're looking for all these things that God has promised that are in the floodgate and all the things he's personally promised you because I know there's people around the world that are emailing me saying, here's what the Lord said about the floodgates. People are painting paintings about the floodgates. Several people, somebody gave me one in Louisiana, a painting of the flood. Come on, people are expressing this word in many forms memes artwork messages prophecies but there's distractions in the floodgate there's distractors you thought this was all going to be 40 days of nicey nice no let's get to the bottom of it let's yeah there's always going to be warfare there's distractors in the floodgates there's those that try to distract you to get you out of the head of that floodgate Say, oh, well, you've been pressing for nine days now. It's Saturday tomorrow. You can take a break. Let's go out to the club. Let's go out and, and just, you know, numb our minds and just watch movie after movie after movie after movie. Let's just go out. Listen, I'm not against having fun, but we're in a season here of the floodgates. How bad do you want your breakthrough? How bad do you want the things the devil stole from you? It's in the floodgates and there's distractors. That will try to tempt you, try to get you off your focus, try to get you to stop running your race to the end. There's 40 days. There's distractors. There are, per there are assignments 
from the enemy to keep you out of the floodgate, to keep you from focusing on Jesus who is pouring out blessings from heaven that we cannot contain. And there's detractors. Detractors. What's a detractor? It's not a brand of farm equipment, beloved. It's a person who disparages someone or something. A critic, a disparager, a denigrator, a, de a, de a deprecator, a belittler, an attacker, a fault finder, a backbiter. They're in the floodgates too. You know what they call those? A lot of times this will describe a religious spirit. So you have all these people around the world, millions, saying floodgates, floodgates, yay. And then you have these religious spirits that say, well, I don't see that in the Bible. I, I just, you know, you're wasting your, no, you're not, prayer is never a waste of time. Or they'll, they'll try to slander and persecute you. You know, Jesus said to the Pharisees, you know, woe to you because you, you won't go in the gate. Ah, but you won't, you, you, and you won't let anybody else go in either. Ha 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 ha. There's, there it is. Jesus said to the Pharisees, woe to you scribes and Pharisees, because you won't go in through the gate and you won't let anybody else go in either. You block the way. There are people that are trying to distract you and bring detractions, gossip, slander, backbiting, criticism to try to keep you from pressing into this for the next 21 days. I'm sorry, 31 days. Can you persevere? Can you press all the way through? Can you hold steady for another 31 days? Have you ever held steady at anything for 40 days? Have you ever pressed in hard to God for 40 days in a row? Have you? Many of you have. Some of you never had the opportunity to. But I know that you can. I know that you can do this. Whether you've done it before, you've never done it. Whether this is intimidating to you or this is like, oh, this is a breeze. Either way, I believe in you. Now we're going to pray against these detractors and distractors. I want you to be aware of it. Awareness is the first step to victory. Awareness is the first step to overcoming. Are you with me? Are you with me? BP, are you with me? Ah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that you give us dove's eyes. Ha, 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 she. Dove's eyes. Eyes only for you, God. Eyes only for you. That we would see you at the head of the floodgates. And that above all, although we're looking, we're seeking, we're searching for those miracles, for those lost things, for, the, for all the promises, all the blessings, we're looking, we're searching. But Lord, most of all, we're searching for you. Most of all, our eyes are on you because you, ha shakata, you, if we keep our eyes on you, you will say, look over there. There's the key. Look over there. There's the provision. Look over there. So Father, help us, Lord, not to get distracted from your heart. Not to go, I see that, Lord. Some of you are like going on a scavenger hunt in this floodgate period. You're going on like a scavenger hunt or like a, like a, like a, like an expedition. But your first expedition or your first focus is him because he'll show you where everything else is. So when I say search for the keys, if you look at him, he'll tell you where the keys are. You might have to do some digging. Father, help us, Lord, not to be distracted. Help us, Lord, not to be distracted. Help us to focus on your heart. Focus on what you're doing in the season that we don't miss it. God, we don't want to be those ones where everybody else around us said, I got my blessing in the floodgate. I got my breakthrough in the floodgate. And we're like, uh, and we're feeling resentful and jealous and left out because we didn't get our blessing, our breakthrough. Or we don't want to be like that. We don't want to be like that. We don't want to be that one. Who's, who's, who's bitter because, ha ha, shake it. Because we didn't press in, because we allowed ourselves to get distracted. We allowed ourselves to get pulled over here into this, that, or the other, instead of focusing on the momentum that's building in the season of the floodgate. God, help us. Help us, God. We bind all distractions in the name of Jesus, but you know, we can bind them, and we can bind them. We can bind the distractors, but the distractions are still going to come at some level. Some of you, oh boy, the Lord just showed me some of you, you don't need any help externally to get distracted. You're distracted on the inside. 
Oh, the Lord wants to deliver you from that today. The Lord wants to set you free from that today where you're just so distracted internally. It doesn't take anything for anybody else to, you know, de any demon or any person to distract you because you're just distracted on the inside. You're consumed with, with the past. You're consumed with, with fears. And that's not even a spirit of fear coming at you. It's just your own worry. It's just your own issue. Can't even blame the devil. Matter of fact, we need to stop blaming the devil for everything. We have authority over the devil. Father, I thank you today that you deliver us. You deliver us from evil. Help us, Lord, to, to, to keep a, a still soul, to be still and know that you are God, to keep a quiet soul, to understand and know that you are the Lord. Give you praise and honor and glory. We refuse to be distracted by outside forces or internal forces. But, Lord, we will focus on eternal forces, your son, your spirit, your face seeking it, the angelic messengers. Ah, shorra ba sheke terebeshe. Ah, ba 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 sheke terebeshe. I see that, Lord. E sheke te ka taraba sheke teraba sheke teraba ba ba she. I have to write something down. I just had a revelation. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We will not be distracted. And Father, as far as the detractors. The detractors, the detractors, those who want to backbite, those who want to malign, those who want to gossip and criticize, those that want to denigrate, those that want to tear down what we're building at the head of the floodgate, the habitation that we're building in the head of the floodgate, those religious spirits, ah, shokotom, those religious spirits, ah, those religious spirits that want to hang out at the head of the floodgates with stones ready to throw them at us for past sins that are under the blood with accusations against us that the Lord will not hear any longer that with with all of this these rules and regulations all of these rules and regulations about how to stand rightly in the floodgate how to lift your hands in the floodgate how to uh, what volume you're to pray in the floodgate I bind all these detractors in the name of Jesus. God, we forgive the detractors, but God, get them out of the way. Move them out of the way, God, or teach us how to deal with them. Teach us how not to. I see that, Lord. There are, that's part of it. I see it. That's why he paired them. He told me distractors yesterday, but this morning I was like, well, you know, he said distractors and detractors. Because the, because the, 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 the detractors will distract you. They, that's their assignment. Can you see it? When Nehemiah was building the wall, the detractors came. They made accusations. They brought false prophets. They said, come down off the wall and talk to us. Nehemiah said, why should I come down there and talk to you when there's all this work for the Lord to be done? And that's your key, beloved. Don't get down off the, the wall. Don't get, don't go, don't, don't move off the floodgates because of the detractors. They want to come talk to you. Who is this Jennifer LeClaire you're following? I don't know about all this head gates, floodgates stuff. I don't know about all these things. This prophetic. What is this prophetic apostolic? What is that? There's no apostles. Don't start listening to the detractors that will try to break the faith that you walk in. We break the power of these detractors who seek to distract us, who seek to destroy us in the name of Jesus. We will not be distracted. We will not be moved. Ah, we will not be pushed back. We will not be uh, pressed down. Hallelujah. We will be lifted on high because we're seeking your face and you've called us higher. You've invited us. Come up here. You've said, come up here, my beloved one. We give you praise, God, for the floodgates are open. The floodgates are open. They're open. I know they're opening wide in my life. I'm in such a rhythm. I've not gotten in this kind of a rhythm very often since I left charisma. It's always been warfare, 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 warfare. Stopping the rhythm. I told Prophet Vanessa yesterday, I'm in a flow. And we are pressing. We are moving. It's about to burst wide open. Hallelujah. We are in a flow. You got to get in the flow. Listen, when you get, <laughs> when you get in the head of the floodgates, you'll be in the flow. Remember what I taught you. You got to position yourself at the head of the floodgate. When you get in the floodgate, you'll be in the flow. You'll be in the flow. You'll be in the flow. Some of you feel like the flow, there's just no, no, no flow. It's like a struggle. When you get in the flow, oh, it's easy. 
It's not mean it doesn't mean it's not hard work, but when you get in the flow. So, Father, help us to get in the flow. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord, to position ourselves at the head of the floodgates so we can just flow like a river with that liver, li, river of living water that's flowing from our bellies. God, let us let us ride the flow. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Hallelujah. We give you praise today. We give you praise today. We give you praise today. For you are good and your mercies, they endure forever. There's nobody like you. You are awesome. You are so good. You are so good. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord, for the season of the floodgate. Thank you, Lord. We decree today that we will not be distracted by the detractors, but we will rise up in the power of the Holy Spirit and continue to press for these next 30, these 31 days that we have left in this, this spiritual campaign, this Holy Ghost campaign. By campaign, I don't mean marketing. By campaign, I mean like a, they call it, they call it campaigns when you go to war. It's a campaign. It's a campaign. So we thank you, Lord, for this spiritual campaign, this opportunity to press in to everything you're saying and doing in this season of the floodgates. And I thank you, Lord, for all the things that are in the floodgates that you'll never have me call out because they're so personal to the people that are listening. Hashtag floodgates prophecy. We give you praise, God, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise God. God is good. God is good. He's a good God. He's a good God. Something is happening. I've never gotten so much response. Uh, I shouldn't say never. It's rare to get this much response from a prophecy. And it's because so many people are bearing witness to it. This is what the Lord is saying. This is what the Lord is doing. It's phenomenal. And it's so personal to so many people. It's so personal because many people are getting their own revelations of what God is doing or wanting to do in their life. In this season, I'm telling you, it's time to press into this. If you've not heard these other ones, beloved, don't be afraid to go back and listen this weekend, you know, to the the past ones. They're on Periscope. They're on Facebook. Press into it because it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Amen. It's good. Praise God. I want to give you an opportunity to give today into this floodgates flow I saw one lady she was sowing a seed for every day of the floodgates it wasn't a thousand dollars but it 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 was something it's something to remind her it's something she's sowing into every day of it I thought wow that's a strategy I didn't think of that but that's her strategy she's sowing a seed every single day I didn't know she didn't tell me she was doing it I saw I saw it come in on on the cash app because it comes up on my phone I normally don't see everything, but that comes right up on my phone. I'm like, this woman is sowing a seed for every single day of the floodgates. That's amazing. I know she's going to get maximum blessing out of that because she's investing all of herself. I know that same person. Look, people don't give money who don't also pray. People, people, well, you know, the Bible says that where your, where your treasures are, that's where, where your heart is. That's where your treasures are going to be. And so this particular woman of God treasures this prophecy and this, what the Lord is doing so much that she's sowing a seed every day. She's putting her money where her mouth is. Isn't that amazing? It touched my heart. I said, wow, I should do that. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. Listen, if you want to sow a seed today, you can do that at jenniferleclair.org slash give. jenniferleclair.org slash give. You can become a partner there. You get the, the free monthly resource, or you can sow a one-time seed there, jenniferleclair.org slash give. All of the other ways to sow are also there. They're also there. They're also there at jenniferleclair.org slash give. You can use the cash app, dollar sign Jennifer Leclaire. You can use the text to give, 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. You can use the uh, P.O. Box if you're trying to send something, a check, 
Some of you who are large donors, it's actually better if you send a check than if you, of course, you get points if you put on your credit card, so I don't blame you. But they don't take the fees out of it if you send a check. Amen. You can also use the, uh, yes, yeah, so the P.O. Box is P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. You can also use the PayPal, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. Praise God. Baby Prophet, I have a word that you're, you're to sow $10,000 every day, Baby Prophet. She's like, what? You're crazy. I just had a baby. I'm teasing you. I just want to see if you're paying attention. You're probably off in the spirit somewhere having visions and dreams of things to come. Ah, I found you. <laughs> I found you. You know what your husband would say? If I had an apostle, I'd give it to you. Praise God. If I had an apostle, I'd give it to you. Your husband told me, I look forward to the day I can sow $10,000 into your ministry. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. I want to pray. I'm just having some fun with baby prophet today because she's usually not on the broadcast as much as she was before, before baby Judah. So I've just got to just show her some love, you know. I just got to show her some love. Amen. Listen, I want to pray into this offering today. Father, I thank you for these floodgate offerings. And I thank you, Lord, that that seed unlocks harvest. That seed unlocks things that that are that are otherwise at times seeming as if they're locked up. But I thank you, Lord, for the floodgates. And I thank you, Lord, that they are open. And I thank you, Lord, that you help us to stay focused. And I thank you, Lord, for this seed. Lord, I ask you, Lord, to multiply it in the name of Jesus. Multiply it, God, for your glory. Multiply it, God, because you're a multiplier, God. That was one of the parts of the prophecy in the, uh, the floodgates prophecy. He says, I am, a, I, am a, I am a multiplier, God. So, Father, we thank you that you multiply this back to the givers in Jesus' name. And, Father, I ask you to, 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 to just cover and increase my awakening blaze intercessory prayer movement leaders, all the intercessors in the Awakening Blaze movement, all the Awakening House members, the Awakening House of Prayers that are rising up all over the country. It's crazy. Those leaders, those directors. Lord, bless all of my students, all of my volunteers, all of my staff, all of my donors. Lord, bless them indeed. Enlarge their territory. Let your hand of power rest upon them and keep them from evil in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Oh, I forgot all my Ignite Network members. Amen and amen. Listen, I have a couple things I want to tell you today. I want you to get involved at Ignite, especially if you're not if you're not aligned. If you're not aligned, you know the Lord brought that up today in the in the in the uh, broadcast about about alignment. If you're one of those ministers and you're not aligned, or you're in a church and there's no prophetic people, no apostolic people, uh, the intercessors don't want to pray, and you're like the only one who prays for real. If you need a community around you where you can learn, grow, and find support, find new friends, even though you might not see them every day, you want to join Ignite. There's so many different levels now. There's so many different levels now. There's so many different ways to get involved. There's really no excuse not to. Amen? You can be part of the original Ignite, which is Prophetic Voices. Uh, you can prophets and prophetic people. You can be part of the brand new spiritual warfare battalion. This is, you know, this is for people who are real spiritual warriors. This is not just for people who, uh, you know, you know, this is, this is, this is for people who want to learn how to fight, who want to grow, who need, who need a, a company of people that will say, yes, I'll pray for you when you have an emergency there, you're going through warfare. This is for people who want to have right alignment in the warfare realm. Ignite. Now.org, the company of Sears, Ignite, Now.org, Spiritual Warfare Battalion, Apostolic Voices. These are two new, the Spiritual Warfare Battalion, the Apostolic Voices. These are two new, uh, two new divisions, IgniteNow.org. It's called the Ignite Network. The URL is Ignite Now, so the, it's not called Ignite Now. People always come, oh, I want to join Ignite Now. They don't mean they want to join now. They mean they want to join. They're, they're miss, it's called Ignite. 
The reason the URL is ignitenow.org is because somebody already took Ignite. Amen. Alignment and commissioning, extreme prophetic mentoring, the company of scribes, lighthouses, Seven Mountains Mandate, the Caleb Company. All of this is there at Ignite. Get involved in what blesses you. Amen. Get involved with what blesses you. Listen, we are building a Mornings with the Holy Spirit app. We're coming into our five-year anniversary on this call. And where we're, what we're going to do is we're going to have a special sweepstakes. And you're going to be able to win, win uh, educational prizes and you know, different things that, that we do in the ministry. You're going to be able to get free stuff. There's going to be prizes. I want the world to know what the Lord has done. This, and, and I want more people to sign up for, uh, to be part of these broadcasts. It's free. I don't charge for it. People, people, there's about a million people a month that listen to these broadcasts. There might even be more than that now, honestly. I don't know. But we're building an app. It'll be done really soon. Free stuff. Okay, amen. There, there's going to be prizes. You're going to in, enter the sweepstakes. It's, there's no cost to it. There's going to be prizes. It's just, I want to make a big bang. I want to celebrate what the Holy Spirit has done. Do you know how many people have been set free? How many people received miracles physically, like physical miracles? How many people received financial miracles through this broadcast? It's the Holy Ghost. Through this broadcast, people are being, deli they're actually being delivered. They're being set free. Amen. Through this broadcast and through all the things they find out about on this broadcast, the deliverance services we have, the church. Ahop.online, the Ignite Network, this gets the word out to so many people who would have never heard of these opportunities. And we, we literally, I have a customer support, uh, we call them customers, really it should be called believer support. We have a believer support line and um, this uh, woman that's worked with me for 20 years, you know what, every day, because I told her, I said, would you start sending me the testimony? Because I used to get them directly through another channel, but I had every day, all day long, testimony, 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 all day long. I can't even keep up with them. You're going to want to read this one. Pay close attention to the, all over the place. Why? It's the Holy Ghost. Five-year anniversary of Mornings with the Holy Spirit. Two-year anniversary of Ignite. So I'm going to tell you how to get involved in that sweepstakes. So I've got to, it's going to be you know, a couple weeks before it's all done. And there's going to be an app and everything else. We're going for it. Listen, this call has changed my life and it's changed the lives of so many. So there's going to be a sweepstakes. I'm letting you know about that. Decoding your dreams, decoding your dreams, school of the spirit TV. You're going to want to get involved in that. If you don't understand your dream life, listen, you can watch this online as many times as you want. You can come in person to South Florida, get involved with what blesses you. I always say that you hear me say that over and over and over. Get on my email list because there's certain things they don't translate well on social media. Go sign up for my email list. You'll get a free MP3 when you do. Go to jenniferleclair.org. They'll see a pop-up there, or you can just hit the newsletter button. And go get on my email list. You'll be the first ones when you're on email. Well, I do tell you guys sometimes here. Sometimes I tell you stuff here before I tell anybody else. But generally speaking, the people on my email list are the first ones to hear about it. You get the link, so you can just click through. You don't have to go looking on my website. I said, I know that so many of you have said, oh, your website's like a labyrinth. It's not really. It's very easy to navigate. It does take time to find everything because there's so much. I think maybe that's what some people are saying. But it's not hard to navigate. But see, when you get the, on the email list, then I can just send you links. I actually, we take the time to put the links. Here's this free event. Here's that free event. Here's this free event. You can go to eventbrite.jenniferleclair.com. I'm sorry, jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com and see all the stuff there. There's the, there's the Ascend Conference. We have over 600 people now registered for this conference. And usually people register in the last 10 days. So it's going to blow up. Get involved in it, please, if, it bless, if it's going to bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. If you can't come in person, please consider going to watch online. You have to register for that, though. JenniferLeClaire.eventbrite.com. It's there for you. You'll see the different options for streaming. You're not going to want to miss this. This is my first national conference, and I've got heavy hitters coming in. To help you to ascend in the prophetic. We've got an awesome t-shirt. It's called, um, let me see if it's on my website. It might be on my website actually right now. 
it's for the conference, but it's not a conference t-shirt. I personally don't like conference t-shirts because, because they're, they're, they get dated. I don't like stuff that has, oh, it is on there. The conference t-shirt is already on the website. It's in the apparel section and the, and it says it's time for Sears to soar. And it's a unisex shirt. It's white with a marble, like a marble ash texture and color in it. And it says it's time for Sears to soar. So we're going to have those at the conference. We'll probably have some before then, but you can find them. If you're not, if you just can't come to the conference, if you want one of these t-shirts, they're on there. Does it have a date? It doesn't have a conference name. It doesn't have a URL. None of that promotional stuff. This is just a statement. It's time for Sears to soar. It is so cool. It's a unisex shirt. It's a really, really nice shirt. It's got ribbing around the sleeves and around the V-neck. And you can choose small, medium, large, and extra large. I, there should be a double X on there. It doesn't look like my developer put that, so I'm going to have to go back and get them to do that. We don't usually have 2X, but we do on this one. Prophet Jamila, thank you for your support. Thank you for your text message yesterday. I was stuck in the airport most of the day. It's time for Sears to soar. Go to JenniferLeClaire.org. We have lots of cool t-shirts and stuff there that we've made over the years. Hallelujah. Amen. I think that's it. Look for the sweepstakes. You're going to want to share this. I'm going to give, try to give every, I don't know, I haven't get worked out all that. I don't want to misspeak because I haven't worked out all the details yet, but I'm excited. This is to bless you, my supporters, and it's to raise awareness so that more people can be blessed. Amen. All right. Bless you, Facebook. Have a great day. I'll be back to pray some on tomorrow.